Hello, friends. This is Professor Gublov. Today's video will be a little unusual, but I'm sure you will like it. So, get comfortable and let's go. The ship that crashed into the crane. This video was taken in 2019 when the container ship Evergiven docked at a port in Taiwan. The ship was one of the largest container ships in the world with a length of 400 meters and a capacity of 20,000 containers. As it began to approach the dock, the ship lost control and veered to the left. We see the Evergiven hit a gantry crane on the quay, causing it to collapse and fall onto the containers. The crane operator sustained minor injuries, but the vessel and the crane itself were severely damaged. The accident occurred due to bad weather conditions and poor maneuvering of the vessel. The wind was blowing at a speed of 72 km per hour, it threw the vessel off course and made it difficult to steer the container ship. The vessel also failed to slow down or shut off its engines in time to avoid a collision. The pilot and tugs assisting the Evergiven did not communicate or coordinate with each other. To prevent similar incidents in the future, ships should always check weather conditions and wind parameters before docking and anchoring, and adjust their speed and direction of travel. A vessel that collided with two other vessels. On August 15, 2012, a North Korean fishing vessel operating illegally in Japan's exclusive economic zone collided with two Japanese patrol boats. The patrol boats pursued the vessel, tried to stop and inspect it, but met resistance the fishing vessel refused to comply and tried to flee. The video captures the moment when one of the patrol boats collided with the fishing vessel, resulting in a tense and dangerous situation for both vessels. Eventually, the fishing boat stopped and the Japanese employees boarded. The main contributing factor in this incident involving the vessel was the aggressive and reckless behavior displayed by both parties. The fishing vessel violated Japanese sovereignty and the right to fish, and endangered the crew and passengers on board. On the other hand, the use of excessive force by the patrol boat and the possibility of collision posed a serious threat to its crew. Mole Con 4, which broke in half. This accident occurred in July 2013 when the container ship Mole Camfet was traveling from Singapore to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. However, while crossing the Indian Ocean, it encountered a severe storm, causing huge waves and strong winds. The video footage shows the vessel splitting in the middle into two parts. The crew abandoned the container ship and were rescued by ships in the vicinity. The incident was mainly caused by structural failures and extreme weather conditions. There was a crack in the vessel's hull that weakened its integrity and stability, and the storm created a bending moment in excess of the design moment, causing the mole camfat to collapse. The containers on board also added weight and pressure to the ship's structure. To prevent such situations, ships should be designed and built using high-quality materials and standards, and subjected to regular inspections and maintenance. MSC Opera Ship Failure the 2019 MSIC Opera, a cruise ship traveling on the Judica Canal, a major waterway leading to St. Mark's Square, suffered an engine failure. As a result, the ship lost control and collided with the river cruise ship Rive Counties and a pier, causing significant damage. The Reeve Counties sustained significant damage and had to be towed away for repairs. The MSIC Opera was also damaged but continued on its way after inspection. The incident has sparked outrage and protests from residents and environmental activists who have long demanded a ban on large cruise ships in Venice. They claim that these ships threaten the city's fragile ecosystem, cultural heritage and quality of life. Van Epis Freighter Failure The cargo ship Juan Epis is a 14,000-ton container ship that suffered a major accident in the Pacific Ocean on November 30, 2020. The ship was en route from China to California when it encountered severe weather and strong rocking. This resulted in the loss of about 1,816 containers, including several with dangerous goods they were washed overboard. This became one of the most serious container losses in maritime history. The company had to divert the ship to Japan for inspection and recovery. It took more than three months before the voyage was resumed. Incident on the freighter Veda Spirit this unfortunate and shocking incident took place in 2018 in Istanbul, Turkey. The Veda Spirit was a cargo ship that was cruising in the Bosphorus Strait, a major waterway connecting the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara. The ship lost control due to a sudden technical problem steering failure and veered off course. The footage shows the ship crashing into an Ottoman-era mansion built in the 18th century and used as a movie set for the movie, Red Istanbul. 
The structure was heavily damaged, but no one was injured. After the accident, the Coast Guard towed the vessel away. Mechanical failures and lack of backup systems were blamed for the incident. The Veda Spirit had problems with the electrical system, resulting in loss of power and steering. CLS Virginia Shipwreck the CSL Virginia vessel accident is a collision that occurred on October 7, 2018 off the coast of Corsica, France. The Tunisian-registered Ulysses collided with the Cyprus-flagged container ship CSL Virginia, anchored in a busy sea lane. The impact caused a significant breach in the hull of the container ship, resulting in hundreds of tons of fuel spilling into the Mediterranean Sea. The two vessels remained wedged together for five days until tugboats separated them. No one was injured in the accident, which caused significant environmental and economic damage. A joint commission comprising Tunisian French and Cypriot authorities investigated the incident and published its report in January 2019. The report says the accident was caused by a series of errors on the part of both vessels and officers, who were distracted by personal phone conversations and did not pay attention to radar or visual signals. The report criticizes the choice of anchorage location for the container ship, which was in the middle of a high traffic area and had already experienced several situations where other ships almost crashed into it. The report makes a number of recommendations to improve both shipping companies' safety standards and navigational procedures. Yogi's Superyacht Superyacht Yogi is a 60 meters long luxury vessel built in 2011 by Turkish company Protexan Turquoise. She was designed by Jean Guy Verge and priced at $39 million. It could accommodate up to 12 guests in six double cabins, and the owner's suite was 75 square meters in size. It was the largest yacht registered under the French flag. The yacht sank on February 17, 2012 on its way from Turkey to France in the Aegean Sea off the coast of the Greek island of Skyros. Fortunately, there were no casualties. All eight crew members were rescued by a Greek Coast Guard helicopter. The cause of the sinking has never been officially determined. But some speculated that it was due to design flaws or a construction error. The yacht was declared a total loss and its wreckage still lies on the seabed. The ship that crashed into the bridge. On February 28, 2019, video was taken of the cargo ship Sea Grand Sailing in Busan, South Korea. The ship was carrying 1,415 tons of coiled steel and was supposed to dock at a nearby port. However, it veered off course and crashed into a bridge connecting the city to the island. The Sea Grand struck the structure with force, causing damage to both the vessel and the bridge. The bridge was closed for several hours and the Sea Grand was towed away by the Coast Guard. Well, as I promised, the video was interesting. So, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.